put your money on the board here. That's it. There we are. Okay, we're doing a brisk business here today. Hey, this stuff is here to sell. Now come out of it. You put back the merchandise. Okay, come on, kid. Here we are. Oh, here, right here. There we are, little girl. Right on. Here we go. Here, the old man is ice cream here. We do business with the old man. Okay, here. Just lay your money on the board. Yeah. Okay, sir. There we are. Step right out. I'll make one for others. That's it, sir. You want some ice cream? You got some money? Oh, I got some money. How can I give you ice cream? After all, we're in business. We, you can't. Just a minute there, you onion head. Is that the way we make a living giving stuff away? I'll teach you a thing or two or three. Here, get your tongue off that ice cream. Give me that ice cream back. I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You asked for it? Boy, did you get it. <laughs> you got it all over you. You got it. Now you've got it. If I ever catch you giving stuff away again, I'll tear you limb from limb. Oh, oh, oh. That's what you get for eating the profit. Oh, 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 look. Time for the cartoon. So it is. We sure found something better than gold in that old gold mine, a satchel bulging with money. I'll count that profit. I'll salute. I'll get it back on an ink and get out of town by sundown brown. Yeah. Oh, boy, we're rich, at Chowderhead. Rich, I tell you. We can buy anything, even a restaurant. I'm moving to the Riviera. I'm buying the yachts and going sailing. Watch that satchel, satchel head, or you'll go sailing off the end of my number ten and a half D shoe. Now, this is what you call strategy, folks. Hey, there's a little town. Right on the highway, too. Maybe it's a new subdivision. Like arithmetic? <laughs> Here comes a western-type character. Uh, she looks like a lawman to me. I'm sure. I hate looking devil to cite you for a traffic violation so soon. Traffic violation? How come? You crossed the tight five floor. In this town, there's a $50 fine. That's folks in our little town will be wanting to thank you for this. Uh. Tell them not to bother. We're leaving their little town right away. Hang on to your hats. Uh, slow down, gents. You're going the wrong way on a one-way street. So that'll be another $50. There are only three traffic violations. The third one lands you flat dead in the clink. And how about that? There's number three. No pop at any time. I could have called that one myself. Wrong to arrest. There's something suspicious about that, Sheriff. Yeah, and he's got all our money, too. What about our money, Sheriff? Don't worry. I'll take care of the money. Yes, indeedy. And that, as they say, is that. You know, it's light and airy in here. I like it. It's kind of like being outdoors. We are outdoors, stupid. This is a phony jail. Hey, the Sheriff's borrowing our car. And he's taking our satchel of money with him. Good. That gives me an idea. Good? The sheriff's pony sign fooled us. Maybe this one will fool him. If it does, he'll detour for sure. That fellow's back. Now, don't you little ones go tell them which road I took. <laughs> Okay, but what about our blood? Forget about our cops. Uh uh. Stolen from the Fifth National Bank at Prickly Heat. So all under arrest. You should have known you couldn't get away with this. Uh uh. Hold it, Sheriff. Yeah, well, we didn't steal the money. Fine. You're being arrested for littering our beautiful rustic park with that lad, John. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's litterbugs. Will someone please call our lawyer? We're innocent. Yeah, you, you saw what happened. A bank robber and three litterbugs. That's pretty good for us, right, Yellowstone? You're a good sheriff, Sheriff. Here we are. There we are. Oh, You want some ice cream? Forget it, man. Uh, well, I can't give you one. Mo'd get mad if I did. Can you pay for it? Yeah. Credit card? You... North by northwest, which means a little bit east by west. What's that east by west mean? It means we're lost, that's what it means. What are you talking about? I know exactly where we are. Right there. 
I don't care where we are on paper. I want to know where are we here? On the terra firma. Yeah, the more firmer, the less terra. Nothing to say with it, Daniel. Nothing, nothing to say. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Shut up, it ain't that bad. Oh, no, but pretty good acting, huh? <laughs> acting? I ought to belt you one. Easy, easy, I got other worries. I'm worried about food. You know, I starved easy. Oh, sure. You're nothing but skin and bone. That's all right. With seven layers of fat on them. Come on, break it up now, and I'll see if I can straighten this out. Take a oh, coffee yeah, break. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. No. I guess I better not start from here. Starving, eh? What is this? Oh, that's just lunch. I'm worried about dinner. Don't you ever think of anything but eating? Boy, every time I look at you, I get hot under the collar. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. And now you're even hotter than that under the collar. Oh, you're dry, you. Boy, what I have to put up with from these numbskulls. It reminds me of the time we started out on a new adventure. Chief sitting pretty. Is this the pale face who ran you out of your wigwam? Thug. Insane pale face. He no forget him. Got him face like pale. That's get out of town by sundown brown. The most wanted gun west of the east. We'll get rid of him for you, Chief. He's good. Hmm. This is a dangerous job. I better use someone we don't need around here. Yeah. Hep, 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 hep. Company, halt. I've got an important mission for you men. At your service, Colonel. Bring in get out of town by sundown brown by sundown. That's an order, men. Yes, yes sir. sir. Get out of town by sundown, Brown. Hold up in that wigwam, knucklehead. The colonel said to kick him out and bring him back to the fort. Sounds easy. Stand by, you guys, while I go over and give him the bad news. <coughs> hey, you. Get out of town by sundown, Brown. Now hear this. Yeah, you hear this. <coughs> I say Mo heard that loud and clear. This is the army. You can't get away with that. Do that again. Can we talk this over like gentlemen? I guess we can. You can play at this game, Brown. Oh, yeah. You think I'm a soldier? I'll die back in for you. That's what he thinks. The best in the West is a guy who shoots first, and that's me. Boy, does he know how to hurt a guy. <laughs> We're gonna shoot you right into that wigwam, Curly. Yeah, but what about you guys? We're backing you up, ain't we? Sure, we're right behind you. And away you go. Bye. <laughs> Gee, what a clever trick. <laughs> this is a better idea. We roll this boulder down on Brown, and he'll get bounced out of the wigwam before you can say many ha ha. That's funny. Well, what are you two melon heads waiting for? Give me a hand. Will this one do? <laughs> Ouch! I mean, help me push that boulder off the cliff, you nitwit. Gee, why didn't you say so? Come on now, everybody on it. Shut up, noodle head. Shut up, shut up. I'm shouting. Whoa, not so hard. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll pull the mission and it's rolling straight down into the sleepy teepee Indian reservation. Hear that? Our boulder woke up the sleepy teepee. They're on the warpath. What do we do? The same thing Brown's doing. What's he doing? Heading for the blockhouse, you blockheads. Come on. Boys, your outstanding bravery and bring it in. Get out of town by sundown brown to get your medal. Thank you, Colonel. But it won't. You started the peaceful sleepy TV tribe on the warpath, so you'll get 30 days in a guardhouse. Yeah. I still say we're lost. And I'm scared. You've got to have courage, men. Yeah. Cannibal! Ferocious savages! We're goners! This is it, men. We've had our little differences, yeah. but now we must die like the brave men we are. Yeah. Friends forever. Friends forever, yeah. yes. By the way, here's a five I owe you. <laughs> a bomb! A bomb? No, no, it's a football! Hey, give me my ball, will you? Hey! Well, at least we're 
we're still friends forever. <laughs> oh, why, sure, always and forever. Right. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, give me back that file. Hey, what are you doing? What are you thinking? You owe it to me. You I with can't the help cannibal. it. I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't like cannibals. Don't you start something, buddy. Put my stomach mixed up. Right after the stomach mixed up, Jake. Contact! Contact! Okay, Mo. The exhaust is working okay, boy. Yeah, I can see that. Take a wheel. Ah, there you are, fella. There's the wheel, like that. You idiot, put it back. Turn on the ignition. All right, all right. Pointing halfway. I don't know whether it's half empty or half full. <laughs> Get out of there. Come on, you don't know nothing about a car. What do you mean I know all about a car? I know this much. I know if the carburetor doesn't carb, and the differential is different, and the distributor doesn't distribute, and the crankcase gets cranky, that car will not run. How about that? You're a complete idiot now. What do you mean a complete Get idiot? Those tools. Right, get the tools. Fix those carburetors. Check the ignition. Shoot that ball. Right. Lift that bail. Let me in there, I'm going to work on a whole thing. Get out of there, mechanical. Wait a minute. The mechanical genius is real done. Have a look at our last mechanical failure. Watch it. I think we got enough supplies to dig for gold, boys. Let's go. But where's the gold mine? We gotta find one, knucklehead. Oh. Boy, I can see it now. Living in the lap of luxury and you squirrels waiting on me hand and foot. Hold it. There's a gold mine ahead. A gold mine store? You boys are a little late. I'm just about to close. Wait, we want to buy a cheap mine. Well, I only got one left and mine ain't cheap. Hey, Mo, maybe you better let me handle this. He might jib me. What are you babbling about? Watch me wheel and deal. How do I know you're honest, old man? I got the seal of approval of the Gold Miners Institute. Now, about that mine. What do you give me for it? Take everything we got. Sold! A horse can take you to the mine. That's a mule. He looks like a solid gold limousine to me. Sure doesn't feel like a solid gold limousine. Never mind. Did you bring the dynamite? Of course. A whole box full. Well, just be careful. That stuff's dangerous. Hey, there it is. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I can almost smell the gold. That was a gold? That's it. Never mind, mattress head. Uh-oh. He's afraid of the dark. Well, we'll just help the little fellow out. Brace yourself, man. Here we go. Uh-oh. You know something? I'm sure sorry Curly remembers the dynamite. Me too. Okay, go get that stupid mule. I don't see how we're gonna make much progress. This is a pretty stubborn mule. If there's a will, there's a way, you simple idiot. I get it. Rocket set, rocket set. Okay, light rocket. Rocket lit. Yowie! We could have broken every bone in our body. What makes you think I didn't? <laughs> Game. Now watch an expert get the mule to move. First, you tie down the cactus like this. See? Hey, that's really clever. Give us a demonstration, all brain. And then the mule stands here, and when you cut the rope, boy, will he jump. Yahoo! Okay, I'm getting tired of horsing around with this mule. Get the wagon set. Ready, set, go! Hey, move it, Phyllis. There's something I gotta tell you. That's not a train! Look, it's that phony gold miner. Quick, after him. Go! Get out the rifle, Larry. Right. I know what's wrong. What, genius? You know what makes this car run? Yeah? It's busted. Oh, not the rubber band. Yes, the rubber band. Now we gotta find something with elastic in it. Yeah, where are we gonna find something with a... with a... Oh, no.
No, you don't sell. Oh, yeah. Now, come on. Oh, okay. yeah. I need it. I got enough. Fellas, I got a whole lot. I need it. Oh, yeah. No, you don't. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, fellas. Hey, wait for me. Wait. 